Hello and welcome to Blender Let's Play. I'm Sean. However, this is not about Blender. This is about a game jam. Me and my brother joined and completed my first game jam. Don't worry, I'll forgive you if you decline to shower me with praise at such an accomplishment. <laughs> In reality, it was very educational. Uh, in a humbling kind of way. This particular game jam is called the Go Dot Wild game jam. You get a theme and three optional wild cards. The theme was connection, and the wild cards speed run, juice it, and two buttons. Make it fun to speed run, add lots of explosions, and make it playable with two buttons. Here's the game we created it's called Boolean Circuit. Basically, the idea is you have two characters played by one player. Any characters without a connection can't move. If both characters get disconnected, you must restart the level. Watching my roommate playtest was humbling, to say the least. The biggest flaw is the level progression. We really need to introduce the mechanics slower. Similarly, we don't describe the controls anywhere. Sitting here on the first level without having seen two players connected, it's not obvious what you're supposed to do. You know you need to get to the goal, but how you get there is not intuitive. The player just doesn't know the mechanics yet. The first level really just needs to be two characters and the finish. Maybe even one character in the finish, and the second level can have the two characters. I like the player movement. It feels really good when you are free to move around. However, you are not free to move around, and so it kind of ruins the controls. Fortunately, control schemes are recyclable, and so... I want to build another game with this control scheme. It'd be a lot of fun. The dual character aspect I find pretty interesting. It enhances the puzzle aspect of the game a lot, and it is... I think it's pretty original for the most part. Um, I've seen some other games do it, like there's one where you play a file, fire elemental and an ice elemental. Initially we wanted to make this a multiplayer game, but that was one of the features that was cut due to the time constraints and our casual development speed. <laughs> I also feel like the game is lacking cohesion. It's missing a theme. I want it to evoke a united feeling, and it doesn't. And some of the other games I played do that, and I'm impressed, to say the least. The graphics of the game are obviously incomplete. And there's no audio to speak of, and there's a lot more going outside. I'm gonna ignore that. Some of the other submissions had menus, splash screens, soothing music, their graphics and music felt releasable. The major flaws in this game are easy enough to catch with some playtesting. However, we didn't do any playtesting till the last minute. The game was not playtestable until the last minute. Elon Musk often talks about how designing the factory is more difficult than designing the car. Something I want to do moving forward is put more work into designing my own factories. So not just completing the game jam, but building the factory to complete the game jams. Basically, playtesting should have been a part of our game development factory, and it wasn't. Lessons learned. Going into this, I didn't take it seriously. My goal and expectation was to build a prototype, and you can't really call the game I built anything more than a prototype. Meanwhile, some of the other contestants built games that I could see downloading from the App Store, games that I might enjoy while waiting for a bus, or during a long day when I need a, that minute to wind down. For the next thing I do, I want to hold myself to that higher bar. I want to attempt to complete a project. Aim higher than prototype. Aim for something that I can fail at. Basically, just take it seriously. <laughs> Another lesson I'm taking away from this experience is to scope my projects. Because it had a deadline, it got done. You're done by this time, whether your features are complete or not. It gave me extra reason to cut features that didn't work or ones that were taking too long. So my plan is to bless the projects that I'm working on with defined endpoints. Give them a deadline, if you will. That's what I'll be doing like literally right after this video. Taking everything I'm working on and giving it an endpoint. In fact, I've already done that. Similar to endpoints are introspection points, places to put your project's course on trial. It's important that you take that time to look back at what you've done and 
what you want to do differently moving forwards. Basically making sure you have a mechanism by which you can steer, not to mention brake and or reverse. I think from here, one or two things will happen to Boolean Circuit. Either we will revise the controls and finish the game, or we will take out our favorite ideas and create a new game. I would honestly like to see both of those things happen. I have not yet decided, however, where I want to put that on my priority list. So, it looks like I have a decision to make. Overall, I am hooked on game jams. I learned way too much from this one. 10 out of 10, I have to do this again. Thank you for watching, and thank you for leaving a like. <laughs> I hope that was helpful, and with that, you're welcome.